Okay. So, um, so like I said, tonight I want to talk to you about how you can grow your Instagram following really, really fast, but I want to preface that before I show you guys how to do it with a couple of things. So like I said, I grew my business to diamond and beyond on my Facebook personal page only. I did not have a like page yet. Um, I did not even know what Instagram was and I certainly wasn't on it. And we didn't even have Instagram stories. So you can, I always heard as a new coach, you master one platform before you move on to another. If you wanna get overwhelmed fast and you wanna have quantity over quality, knock yourself out. But I think it's really important to learn to, um, you know, be really, get, become a master at something before you move on to something else. So, um, if you're going to, if you feel like you are more of a picture person, I am much more of a word person. So I should be blogging. My posts are all very, very, very long. I'm using Instagram. I'm still finding a way to make it work for me, even though I'm very verbose. But mostly Instagram is more your artsy, creative um, people who have, if you've got an eye for pictures and making, and that's your thing, Instagram's your platform. But we can all make it work for us. And how I'm figuring out for me how to do that, Instagram stories is my strength on Instagram because of the fact that people literally feel like they're in my life and in my house because they pretty much are every day seeing what's going on and they really get to know me. And the reason why every single person signs up with me that I've really ever had is because they felt like they really connected. Keisha is a great example of that because she had many other Beachbody platform people, Beachbody coaches in her network that she was watching. And she decided to join me and told me specifically because she knew that about my faith in God. And she knew that she felt like she really knew me and connected with me and saw my, you know, character, the things I believed in, whatever. And she just knew that that would really well align. But if I never was posting about the other things that are important to me and the other things that make me me, she never would have joined me because she wouldn't have had that connective tissue. And that's why I tell you guys that beach body should be sprinkled in, but you need to be, find a way to be you on social media and share your life. Because if pe those people in your warm network, they want to, you know, sign up with you because you're you. So I share that in Instagram stories. Now, what I feel like um, I learned today, and so like I said, I'll preface this because I think I got a little bit obsessed with having a lot of followers. Um, a lot of followers means jack crap in this business. Um, I have seen many people have 30, 40, 50,000 followers, and they're not even hitting success lovelies. Then I've seen people with 13, 14, 15, 1,600 followers who are hitting like SC40 and 50 every month. Um, so it does, you just got to be careful that you don't slip into the place that I started to slip into where I had to lay it down because, um, I believe you should work for a cause and not for applause. And for a while I started slipping into feeling like I was making that, I don't want to say an idol, but I was thinking about it way too much. Like, like followers and likes equate to like my self-worth and that's not true. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, like that was a great post. Why is nobody liking it? And then I would start checking my phone a ton. Like, did the likes go up? Did the likes go up? And that's not healthy. So I don't want you guys doing that. And we all learn, like we all whatever in this business. But why I do think this is important to share with you guys tonight. The more eyes you have on your posts, the better, period. We have a business, but I will tell you, there is a very big difference between authentic followers and just fluff followers. So there used to be sites, um, then apps that would build your following for you. And there's companies you can pay. I've looked into many of them anywhere between two, three, four and $500 a month to grow your Instagram following. And they're pretty much all getting you the fake accounts, accounts that are just out there that aren't really anybody. And they're just businessy things for other businesses. And it wouldn't actually be like a mom or a Christian or whatever, or a fur mom or whatever your target audience is, who's interested in you and your life and might want to join you. So, um, that said, before I get to this big exciting thing that I'm so excited to share, because you guys are going to love this. I want you to remember that you, when you put your head down, I got to tell you, I've got like maybe 14, 1500 followers on Instagram right now. Ask me how many of them I'm inviting. I've invited to a challenge group. Not that many. I don't actually need to grow my following when I haven't even really like maxed out the people I already have. But this is why I'm doing it. I know that one of our vital behaviors as coaches every day, that invite, 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 we teach you guys the system, whether you do it in power pockets or power hour, where you every day you add three or five friends to your network. You connect with a couple of people and start chatting and build relationships. You invite a few people, you follow up with a few people. Okay. Point blank. That works. Period. Period. You want to be a top 10 coach? There it is. That's the secret sauce. 
period. The only time it doesn't work is when we are not doing that every day, five days a week, or we're taking a piece out of it. Like, well, I'll do my workout, my PD, but I'm not going to invite. Or I'm going to invite people and do my workout, but I'm not going to do PD. Or, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't work, period. So anybody, I was just watching a call today on the Champions page, and she shared that she challenged her team to send like 50, 60 messages a day for five days. They did not have to be invitations. It was just you're getting into somebody's inbox. You're reaching out. You're striking up conversations. Some of them were invites. Some of them were whatever. And she's like, everybody hit success by the end of the week. Anybody can have success in this business if you're willing to work for it, period. But I'm going to teach you different tools, and that's part of what I want to get back to the trainings on. And this is a great tool because once you get to 10,000 followers, I know your head's probably screaming. You're probably like, Kim, I don't even have 1,000 followers. But once you get to 10,000 followers, Instagram lets you do that swipe up feature, and they give you a lot of things that bring a lot of business to your page. And marketing-wise, a lot of different doors open for you on Instagram. A lot of people start seeing you as a very reputable like business, and you start getting all kinds of free things and products. They want you to promote these T-shirts and this fitness wear and all these things things that you can promote in your stories and just a lot of your business starts to pow. And I don't know about you, but if somebody said, join my challenge group on their Instagram stories, spots are filling up, swipe up to grab yours. I would absolutely swipe up to see like what that form is or what it's about. I don't have that option now because I don't have 10,000 followers, but I know that it's a big deal and I want to get to it. However, when I'm at a thousand followers and that's at 10,000, that seems like it could take me years, right? So what I've been doing is learning the system that I taught you guys. If you've got to like five of somebody, find so find a hashtag like Angela might do two under two. And she might find other moms who have two kids under two years old that would really relate to the crazy, cray, cray daily life that she has right now. But if she then, she would have to go to like their pages and see like, is this person already a coach? Does this person have, do we relate? Do I kind of like their job? Or is this like a tattooed crazy, every other word is the F word, probably not my person kind of a page. So it takes some time to research hashtags, to find people. And then to interact, you got to like, like, bunch of their posts, comment on a couple. I don't know about you guys, but I am not here to be a slave to this. And it can be very easy to do that in this business. So what I, as my husband texts me that he's in the car and heading home at 847, this was every single day of our life for years. I could not have done that every day with two kids. All the single moms are amazing. I'm so grateful for Beachbody. That's why I'm, I'm sharing this with you guys because this very huge thing that it did for us that we don't live that way anymore. So here's what I want to share. I want you guys to whip out your phones and I'm going to teach you how to do this. This will add about a hundred followers to your page every day. If you want to do it, I know your mind is probably reeling. It already happened for me today. I'm up 112 followers in one day. I have never in my life. I'm so excited. Most of all to tell Carrie about this because Carrie is like the Instagram guru. And so I'm like, ah, I have something to teach Carrie. That's going to like her following. But again, I want you to be careful because if you get a ton of followers, what does that do? nothing if you aren't tracking your business. So now I go back and as I'm scrolling through, I wanted to ask Carrie before the call and I didn't get a chance to of, as I scroll through and I'm like, you know, looking at all these people, I now will go and track, write down their names for this date on my tracker of who accepted. Now I'm going to go through and look and I'll show you because, because I didn't go find all these people myself. There might be a lot of people that I have nothing to do. They would never, I would never, they're not even like, you know, there might even be some men in there. So I'm probably going to go through and I'll be unfollowing people. I'm going to teach you that system too. But what it, I'm here. I'll just, I'll just show you what I did. So, um, so let me get out. But I, so I have to now reach out to these people. And as these people, you'll notice when you add followers, they typically start to tune into your Instagram stories for a day or two. That is when you need to like, if you're having consistent posts in your stories, like you should about, you know, what you're doing in your challenge group. If I can show you guys, let me see. I wanted to ask Carrie how to plug my phone in so that I can actually, so let me see how I can get this so that you guys can kind of see. You guys can see where I follow, 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 right? So this is from tonight. All those new people that are following me. I really wanted to be able to plug it in so that you guys could see. Um, Hold on. Holy crap. Yeah. Trying to make sure I can see. And this was just from the last couple hours. This was from like my lunchtime posts. Um, this morning it was just insane. Um, and I've never, like I, I'm not an Instagram person. I was working really hard to get followers. But again, why this matters, um, 
and it's just not really showing very well because of my um, <laughs> okay. Holy cow. Okay. So here's the deal though. It's only showing me six hours ago and there's, it's adding followers so rapidly that I didn't even get a chance to write down the ones from this morning. So here's the thing again. So there's like a James guy on here. I'm going to go and I'm going to unfollow him. Like, I don't even know who he is and I'll tell you why that, that, that happened. But there are a lot of people in here that are people that I might be interested in inviting to a group and chatting with. So I'm going to, I always look at who's viewing my stories every day. Always. And if I haven't, there's going to be lifers, people that are always in there. And those are the people that are eventually going to join you in the group. But when somebody's new, I don't say to them, Hey, I saw you were tuning into my Instagram stories, like a creeper stalker. No, because that would scare me away. And I would probably not watch somebody's stories again. If they did that, I use it as a tool. I know they're watching me. They don't know that I know that they're watching me. So now I take that and make my list of like, just like I do when I make, um, you guys, I went on Facebook today and the whole point of posting on social media, like none of this works if you aren't posting on social media. I literally made a list today of 60 like people that are on my list to reach out to like between today and tomorrow, just anything, whatever. I'm going to go see what's on their page. If they're posting about fitness, maybe I'm going to chat with them about that. If it's mom stuff, I'm probably going to be mom stuff. If it's, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to be in people's inbox and start chatting. Um, and then when they see that I'm shouting out Angela for transformation Tuesday, and I'm posting about my workout that I'm doing in a 1.5% of my day in 22 minute hardcore. And when they see that I'm posting about this awesome lunch that I made for this new program that you can eat pretty much whatever you want and lose weight. Like I'm going to be getting questions and interesting people are going to be following me, right? Period. It all works together. Why the followers matter is because I know that I hit success club every a month. Yes, it was hard work and I've been really consistent, but I haven't missed it in three years now. Um, oh yeah, that was last month. So the cool thing is like, what is that? 12, 24, 36 months that I've done this no matter what was happening in my life, pregnant, childbirth, whatever. And a big part of that was I constantly grew my following, but I didn't do it a thousand people at times. So you guys might go look at me and be like, Oh my gosh, she has this many people. It happens in just a few people at a time every day, consistently, just like weight loss or anything else. There is something that is brand new that most people don't know about. I'm going to tell you that today. It's a secret. It's brand new to the Beachbody world. I'm sure everyone's going to find out about it very, very quickly, and it's going to blow up. And I just shared it with my success partner today. She's on Ashley Smith's team, so I'm sure that they're going to all know about it within a day, and they're all going to be taking their following from 30 to 60,000 followers. So I want you guys to go into your app store, and I want you to um, – it's free, but – I had to, I paid $5 because that's so well worth it. I was going to pay like a hundred dollars for an assistant to add like 25 followers a month, let alone a hundred in a day. It's called captivate. So go to your app store and download captivate. And I want you guys to do it now because I want to show you how to use it while we're on the call. It's going to be a little bit harder for you to go back and try to change it. You'll know what it's like. It's going to look like, um, looks like this right here. Like, <clears throat> and it's like a rainbow. And if you aren't doing it now, then just go ahead and write it down and write down these directions so that you can do it later if you're like on your phone for this call and stuff. But after Captivate, I want you to grab something called Cleaner. And if you go to your app store and you search, it's called Cleaner. Like you can, I just typed in Cleaner for Instagram because I didn't really know what it was. Those two you're going to use together and you're going to grow a huge following. But again, lastly, before I actually show you exactly how to do it, again, I do not waste, want you wasting your time trying to add followers if you're not even talking to anybody. There's just no point. So you look at your stories, you reach out, and you guys can have a very generic, I still have forgotten Carrie to send it to you, but I can tell you what they're like because I got about 30 of them today. Um, is it, I, is it this sorry. one? Wait, where is it? Can you see it? Wait. Yes, cleaner for Instagram. Yep, that's it. It looks like a rainbow thing. It looks just like the other one. So today, there are some people who have their accounts set up, people in business, like what we do, where they have an automated system that automatically, when somebody clicks follow, it shoots them a message so they don't have to do it. It's smart business. I'll be getting to that point soon, but I'm not there yet. So this is an example, Carrie. You had asked me of what people send, like in what I send when someone clicks follow. And this person automatically wrote, hey, friend, thank you so much for your follow. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Lindsay. I have two babies so far. I love motherhood, homeschooling, minimalism, and all things natural. I'd love to hear about you. That's a pretty good one. Like, I might be like, oh, that's awesome. Like, I've been thinking about homeschooling, and I'm a mom, too. I also have two babies. So she did a lot like, what? I think we're following the same person. I got the same thing. Oh, <laughs> so she does it the same way that I would do it. Um, 
mine was very similar to that. Now, a few people just sent like a hello or something like that. But earlier today, I got a couple from coaches um, that I didn't know that they were coaches. And this one said, hey, thanks for following with a heart. Hope you're having a great day. I love connecting with my new Instagram friends. I'm all about finding more joy and purpose in my daily life and helping other women do the same. Fitness and healthy food are some of my favorite tools for doing just that. What about you? Excited to get to know you better. I don't think I would put right out there like, fitness and nutrition, like immediately. Um, so that's not one I would send, but, um, some of them was like, one of them said, Hey, at Kim fit with face. Cause it's again, an automated thing. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate the love. Are you into health and fitness too? To me, these are the people that are not very successful with beach body. Um, there are tons of them out there. We can feel like we're just lost in a sea of coaches, but I promise you that the majority of people that are signed up and that look like they're nailing it on social media are getting zero results in their business because they're not actually ever inviting anybody or talking to anybody. And they're too quick to rush for a sale. I'm not leading with Beachbody. I lead with me. I have these great tools, but like I'm going to be chatting about my tools and all that stuff like in my stories. I'm not going to be putting it like often all out there. I mean, I do post. You guys see it's in my posts and it's important that people know I'm on a health and fitness journey and all that and they can join me. But um, so again, it matters what you do with these followers. I don't ever want you getting caught up in this place of thinking that followers equate to anything because I don't know that anybody even needs to be doing what I'm doing. But again, I want to get to that $10,000 mark. And I know that I want you guys to keep having new eyes. If you're actually going to reach out to these people and strike up, Hey girls and connect. And when they're in your stories, pay attention to who's watching and make sure that you send invitations to those people who are constantly watching and make sure you use the poll thing so they can comment. Like they want more information or like even other things, not just about beach body, but like, you know, you guys will see me be like, are you a control freak too? Or did this PD speak to you too? And they can just, but they get, it gets them interacting in your stories. So you can add that poll feature and when I've done videos and trainings on Instagram stories and there's a ton of them out there if you need that um, but just to get you to get your following up when you download captivate I was like how do I even use this thing so when you click on it and open it if any of you guys downloaded it it takes you to uh, oh I was in the middle of something so let me see what it's gonna take you to um, it basically will da -da 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 -da. what's it doing there's a discover tab a search tab at the bottom a following and a settings so let me tell you, everybody pay attention before you start doing this so I can actually tell you how it works, okay? So quickly, the point of this is that you can mass invite followers all at once at the same time, but here's the thing. How would, you're probably like, well, how would I ever know like out of a million people, like maybe a couple are in my target audience? This is what I did today. Um, and what I watched a training video on um, from somebody who was not a beach body coach, which is like, you want to try to think of somebody or find somebody that you are following or somebody that you're friends with on Instagram who has a lot in common with you or is your like niche. Like that's your person. Like she was your ideal client or coach. Go to that person's page. Um, so within your Captivate app, there's a search bar at the top. What I did today was I typed in FIT because there's a girl who's super into faith and fitness. She is not a beach body coach or anything like that. And so I, her name is like Tamara or something. We've been friends for a while. When I click on her page, okay, in, within this Captivate app, why is my lighting so bad? Um, it literally takes me to her page within which is the right. So what I did is click on followers. When you click on her followers, so people are, it brings you up this page that looks like this, okay? And I can just scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. Here's exactly what you do. This is all you need to do. You click on the actions at the top. No, you don't, sorry. <laughs> you click on quick select at the bottom. Select all. There now are, what does it say? I've already done this today, so there's not many people left. But before it was like something like 187 or something. Now, then you type, you click on the word actions at the very top, and it brings up a little thing here. Before you click follow, you want to click add to whitelist. Whitelist, what that prevents is so let's say that you're going to click, you click add to whitelist, it does it really quickly, but it's making a list of all those people so that if you notice, like let's say you add, you, you click to follow all these people, and then um, a bunch of people follow you, and then you use the cleaner app to unfollow all the people who haven't followed you, because why would you follow somebody that isn't even interested in you? Like we're trying to find people that are interested in us. So you don't want to unfollow those people, 
and then like go back to finish adding more friends and like re-add the same people, right? Like again and again. So what whitelist does is it saves their name so it never adds them twice. Okay, so you're not like wasting your time. So that's cool. So you click add to whitelist first. Then it's just saved. It's in some cloud or whatever it does. You guys know me. I don't understand technology at all. Then you click follow. When you f click follow, it is going, it says captivate for Instagram. And it asks you on this little like prompt thing. It says, are you sure you want to select whatever followers? And then you click start now. Now here's what it'll do. It'll start to upload and it's literally going to go and follow all those people in a matter of seconds, guys. Okay. Now Instagram will let you add up to 160 people within an hour that you can follow every hour. So you can literally do this process every hour, which is, I didn't do that today, but I did it about five times and I'm up over a hundred followers. So, but let me tell you though. So you've done the white list, you click followers. Now why I picked her is because again, I know a lot of people are following her, probably very interested in Jesus and fitness. They're probably like my kind of target client. Not saying all of them are not saying that, you know, whatever, but to grow my following, at least I'm growing it with people who are probably some that we, we, we might have things in common. With. So that's why I picked her specifically. I can tell you other kinds of people that I've been picking today, but I did go through when you select all. And if I just saw like men, I would just click on it to like unselect them. And I just did that for a few. Um, so I don't have to worry about it later or whatever, but this only lets you do a couple different things for free. The app is free. You guys didn't pay anything. But it's four dollars and I think ninety nine cents to have the pro version, which I already paid today, and it was already well worth it considering I already have one hundred followers. Um, so it's up to you guys. But I definitely paid that because it's only like a one time thing, and you can use this as many times as often as you want. And so I um, instantly I logged off of this. Yeah, so I did that thing where it went and followed all those people and it said like it only could do it a couple times It does like 40 people at a time. It just takes a second You just click like add more or do it again You put add to the add to the queue or something add to the local queue like a, a cloud thing And I just did that and so it saves it in like a local thing and then I could just click fo actions follow again Now it'll follow the next 40 and then I would click add to the local queue actions follow the next 40. So I did it for like about what I thought was about 160 people. Um, and then I logged off. I literally was thinking like, does this really work? Like, this is like, I don't know. I logged on Instagram 10 minutes later and had 17 new followers. And I was like, and like a bunch of likes and comments. I was like, okay, that usually would take me hours upon hours to get 17 new followers. Over the course of the day, I went back in to finish like going through her friends and did a couple other people. And like I said, you guys, I spent about a hundred followers today that I'm up. If you do the math, if I do that every day, and by the way, the entire process took less than 10 minutes of my day, probably five. <laughs> um, to do that every day and do that five days a week in the beginning of my power hour, to have 500 new followers a week. Okay, so 2,000 people a month. Within about four months, I can have the swipe up feature. That's crazy. Now, I do find that when things like this blow up and everybody finds out about it and everybody's using it, things like this can get shut down pretty quickly. So I wanted you guys to be like the first ones to know about it because I want you to start using it as quickly as possible just in the event that something like that happens. And I hope that it doesn't. But people pay thousands of dollars for companies to do this right here and often they're fake accounts so like if you know that you've got a girl let's say like Keisha somebody that just joined your challenge group and she is like loves Jesus she's into she really needed this she homeschools her she's a lot of things in common with you you might want to just click on her page click on her followers and like are there going to be a ton of people that aren't like her yeah but typically like think about friends like us on a team we are a lot we all have a lot in common we all like like each other so a lot of our friends so like um like i'm not going to go to megan's page and go type follow and try it because i want her to be talking to those people so i'm not going to go to any other top beach body coaches and try to get their people or anything like that but people who you know you've got to think between the lines of like you know, um, what are your, so like Carrie might be thinking of like, you know, some foster organization or something that she might find and find who follows them. And she might do a mass ad and get a lot of dog people. Like there's just a lot of different things you can do. Like, um, we have a, a girl down here who has like a ministry for just moms that I went to her page today and I added each of those people. Like chances are we're going to have a lot in common or I'm going to find some other moms who are interested in this. Now, again, it's my job now as people are following me, make sure, but Here's the thing. 
you need to keep your ratios right. So you don't want to be following like thousands and thousands of people and only have like 500 followers. So the cleaner app comes in and I didn't get a chance to even finish the training on that today, but I do have a couple of follower apps that I use. So it's probably the same, but when you put in your Instagram information, it basically allows you to quickly unfollow with one click anybody who has unfollowed you or isn't following you back. So every day you're going to wind up with just like a positive hundred people or whatever. And then you can take yourself back and wipe out all those people that are not interested and are not your people. Now I'm also going to go through and look at the people today that follow me because I, like I saw, for example, there was like a butt in my newsfeed today, like a girl's like painted handprints over her butt. And I was like, what is in my newsfeed? Like not my person. So I clicked unfollow right away. Um, so you are going to find random people, but she was like, and I went to her page and it was like nude photography. I was like, okay, like getting off of this. So are things like that going to happen? Yeah, probably when you're not doing things. But again, the point is, is like, I want you guys to work smarter and not harder. I'm so glad Megan's enjoying that. There's probably a lot of other crazy crap in my newsfeed right now, but I never scroll my Instagram newsfeed ever. I need to get better at like interacting. But again, the big thing is you're supposed to be interacting and engaging with these people. So like if you see, so somebody went through and liked a ton of my posts today and then she comes on a couple and it's getting my engagement up so I'm commenting back to their post you always want to be commenting back to people's posts on Facebook and Instagram like Keisha I've noticed before I think you had a ton of people that were commenting they were interested and you probably took it right to a PM but I always reply first because if you have a post you made and 12 people commented on it if you comment back that's 24 comments and that to Facebook, they're like, holy cow, this posted really well. Not only does it start pulling it back up into the newsfeed, they start showing it to way more of your audience. So for me to be mindset, you guys, when I made that post about food freedom, it was a dud. Barely anybody liked it. Nobody commented on it. And then like one girl did. And then somebody else saw it and somebody else did. And you guys, that thing has still been going until a couple days ago with new people being asked to be added to that group. Because every time somebody commented on it and I commented back, it kept getting bumped up again. So um, just remember with Instagram, that's important too. But now I'm going to watch who's tuning into my stories today of my new followers who tunes in again tomorrow. And I'm going to shoot these people like that copy and paste a girl message and anybody that banters back. Again, I'm not going to waste my time though. I'm going to make sure there are people that have things in common with me and are people that I actually go to their page. I'm like, oh yeah, this looks like somebody I would, but this will help you grow your following fast. Did that help you guys? Okay. If nothing else, this is going to be all the level ones that I followed you ago. It's getting rid of what? All the celebrities that I followed years ago. They're not following me. <laughs> My stories are like completely clogged. What do you mean? With with other with like celebrity stories, you know, because I can't go through and unfollow them all at once. So the cleanup app is helping in that mix. That's all I mean. Oh, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. People that you followed that you're yes. Gotcha. Yeah. Don't follow me. Um, well, what I was using for a while, I would know because a lot of times people will like, you'll click follow and they'll follow you back and then they'll unfollow you because they just want the follower. And that's so ridiculous, but that's what Instagram, like that's what people do. And so I got something um, a while back and it's just a little, it's called followers. And I use that and I can instantly tell, like, um, I actually unfollowed Ashley Smith this past week because it was just something that I just needed. I need to, I unfollowed every single coach in the network outside of my coaches and my success partner because I needed a break. I needed to not see any, what anybody else is talking about so that I can make sure that I'm staying authentic to me and my voice. I've always compared myself to everybody else. I've always been so concerned with what other people are doing. I'm like, I need to find my own voice and be a voice and not an echo because that's what's going to take me far in this business. So even though I love Ashley Smith, I actually messaged her and I told her, she's like, thank you for telling me. Cause I was like, what did I do? Because like we were, we're kind of close, but I was like, I'll get back to you. I'll follow you again. But right now I got to put my head down and put my blinders on and do me. Um, so it does help because you can, you can just, you know, run follow, but I think it's an awesome tool for you guys to have um, in your back pocket and to grow as people keep seeing you um, to keep, or sorry, so that more people, Honestly, as people start to see that you have a big following, like I don't know about you guys, but when I go to somebody's page and I see that they're a coach and they have like five, six, seven thousand followers, I'm like, oh, she's legit. And that's part of it. It just gives you some, you know, extra, whatever you call it. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Hannah, you're killing me. She's so adorable. I love her. <laughs> Um, I just want to touch her ears. I literally was like, is it weird if I keep my dog's body in my house for like a really long time? 
<laughs> the lady from like, do. Really creepy. Oh. Um, okay. Um, before I just like wrap with something, because we've got like three minutes, does anybody have any questions on it? Because I know I'm really bad with technology. So I was like, if I can figure it out, I'm guessing. <laughs> Mm-mm. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm surprised Hannah's not like, Ooh. Malala always used to hear other dogs bark and be like, even if it was like TV or like whatever. I'm surprised Hannah didn't perk up and like look at the screen. You're like, wow, there's another friend out there. <laughs> if she ever goes missing, she's not going to be at my house. Oh, my neighbor got a pit bull puppy. Like she's like this big and she looks like Hannah. And I was playing with her yesterday. Now I want to steal her. Yeah. Yeah. If there was a pit bull puppy that looked anything like Hannah, I'd be like, so I know I said I don't want a dog forever and a day again because my heart is broken and I'm not ready, but I'm ready. <laughs> I, you are what actually, I said when my, I lost my last pit bull because I lost her to cancer too. And I was online and I saw her picture and I just started crying and I was like, I have to have her. Is she very friendly with kids and stuff? Um, Hannah, she's, um, she's not really been around kids. Okay. Yeah. She My husband really wants a pit bull. We have a Weimariner and he's just not good with my son. It drives oh. me nuts. Got him as a puppy and my husband's like, I don't know what we were thinking. Oh, but generally pit bulls are like awesome with yeah. kids. Oh, like yeah. called a nanny dog and they literally will like nanny your children. Like my dog, yeah, that's the day she died, she literally would not leave their bed. Before. It's like she knew. And I it was like she was like, yeah. like she, she babied them like. Well, that's, that's like what they were originally bred for was like to be a nanny dog. And so like my other, like my other dog, Maggie, she's a pit bull and she would like, she, she like loves the kids. Like she sits in front of them and like when they go in the room and shut the door, it's so sad. She sits there and she stares at the, the door that it's shut in her face and she sits there and stares at it. It's so sad. <laughs> it's pathetic. But yeah, generally they're really good. But she has like been around my nieces like a couple times and she just tries to look inside their mouth. So okay. I just to get her away from their mouth. <laughs> like, don't do that. But yeah. <laughs> oh, um, and so one more thing. I know that a lot of people that were thinking about Summit decided they can't go. I am booking my hotel right over there two nights. There's a couple people that I'm chatting with who might be interested in going. Um, but just know I'm pretty sure they're doing like last call, like I think the end of this month is like it to buy a ticket. Um, if you're serious about your business, really consider going. It's the best inv investment you can make in your business. But I know that there's some people that's just not in the cars this year, and I do understand. Um, so just know that I'm going to have a hotel room. You guys don't have to pay for that. It's open to my team. There's two huge queen beds, and so that's on me. Um, all you have to do is get yourself there. Um, it's like a seven hour drive from Georgia. I don't know if it's for anybody else, but, um, and you just get your ticket and the, that's, that's my, um, that's the only thing I can do. If you guys are going to make that investment in your business, I want to support you in it. So hotel rooms on me. And then I'll do some fun team stuff there for anybody who's going and I'm going to order some summit swag. It's going to be amazing. Um, but, um, just let me know because tonight is literally like, I, I need to know if you're really thinking about it. Um, and yeah, I think that that's pretty much it. So.